All right, everyone, welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, I'm gonna do a little video here, but um, I'm actually in the process of making an order, but I decided to go ahead and shoot this real quick because um, the video is gonna be about something else pretty much. But uh, anyway, I've had, a, I've had several people over the last few months, you know, ask me how I make my June bug, you know, um, and I always try to try to explain it in the comments or to people that message me. I tell them, you know, it's pretty simple, but, um, you know, because I personally, I do not, I don't count out drops. Um, you know, I really don't count out drops when it comes to that. And depending on what I'm, what shade I'm going for, I'll do it sometimes a couple of different ways. But uh, anyway, I already got the plastic heated up. Um, I'm making an order of these seven inch uh, mag speed worms. So um, anyway, I'm gonna show you real quick and get into it. And then when I'm done with this order, then we'll get into what the video is actually gonna be about. But um, let's see if I can. And what I use is Lure Works Black Grape. That's like, you know, that's, that's like, mainly what it is you know usually i'll throw something else in there just to just to change the shade up a little bit that i want let's see if i can get you a little bit better angle there we go all right i'm gonna say the plastic was already heated up i pretty much just like i gonna say i don't count out i look at i look at the shade up and see exactly what i want now you can use just straight black grape uh, that makes a great June bug, but sometimes depending on, you know, if I'm going to put different color flakes in it, you know, sometimes I get a, um, a order with, you know, I've had orders with uh, like blue and uh, purple, you know, I've had orders with red flake, you know, instead of your traditional green flake. So all depending on, on what I, uh, you know, what the order is will depend on how I want it to look. Like this right here is going to be your traditional, you know, standard green flake. Um, that is about perfect in my opinion. But uh, I, I'm going to add just a touch of MF purple to it. And raise the camera back up. Like I said, not much. I just want to put a little bit of that in it to change up because I got it about the thickness I want I want to put a little bit of this in it and you'll see in a second it'll start changing it up it'll, instead of looking more bluish it'll give it a little more of a purple tint because that black grape and it's hard to see I'm trying I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking in person trying to see and the uh, that little bit of purple gives it more of a purple purple tint instead of the blue tint and that there is about right and honestly i'll probably add this video at the uh at the very end you know uh, or i might just let it all mash up it don't matter it's all gonna be on the same roll um pretty much the video is gonna be the baits i i make uh i've had a ton of people you know asked me over the last several months you know about the action on them and i just i decided to go ahead and i'm gonna do a little video and try to get the action of all the baits all right that looks pretty good i'm gonna do a little bit more that was a full half i'm gonna do a a quarter now so that's but anyway, like I say, it, you ain't, it ain't the exact drops. Like I say, when, when I'm doing amounts like this, I don't, I don't count out drops. I'm just, I look at how, how they look, you know. Uh, matter of fact, I'll pause it and I'll at least show you what it looks like, you know. So I'm gonna pause it for a minute, go ahead and shoot this. And uh, when I take them out, you know, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on so you can see it. Alright. 
trying to show you up close. And then I'm gonna hold some up so you can see. They look dark, but at the same time, they got that nice translucent where you can see through them a little bit. All right, I'm gonna finish up this order and then we will actually finish the video. I guess I'm gonna let this be first and then, you know what I mean, then we'll finish up the video. All right, now we're getting to the main part of the video. Um, what I'm gonna attempt to do is just show you the baits I have and how they look in the test tank. Um, and the purpose for this video, and there's a couple of baits I really don't even need to put in the tank just because it's, I mean, pretty much self-explanatory. But if we got enough time, I'll I'll show you a couple of them and show you just how I personally I use them that way. Uh, but anyway, we're going to try to get right on into it. Uh, my tank is, it ain't super clean, but it's, it's clean enough for video purposes. Uh, I'll start with some of these first. Uh, this right here is the trailer, the Chatterbait trailer. And I got it on a, this is a, a jackhammer. And it's, hopefully you can see what's going on. Try to slow it down a little more. You can see the the trailer's got a real subtle um personally I like this trailer a lot better. I've always used like a swim bait or something along that lines, but uh since I got this trailer I really like it a lot more. Uh I seem to do a little better and get better bites with it the swim baits on it um it just throws so much extra action that i mean yeah at times it might work better but i just i really like how the the actual chatter trailer does i have another one here um this mold i i'm probably not going to keep um you know i bought it just to try it out and see how it does it's the uh el gordo um which is I mean, it's a cool grub, but it ain't something that I personally would fish with. And, um, you know, I already have other style grubs that will work in multiple ways. So I really don't think I'm going to keep this one. I'll probably just get rid of it. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you. Uh, I actually have this one on a chatterbait also. And the reason being that it's got that real subtle look to it. You can see it's kind of swimming back and forth. And that's that's because of how the bait is designed. You know, it's and I've I've uh, used it, you know, swimming it with um uh, with just like on a jig or uh, you know, I even tried it. I tried it multiple ways and I mean it does good, especially it almost like it's like a beaver when you're you know a little beaver tail when you're bouncing off bottom um and on a straight jig it's got just a slight shimmy so you could use it that way i just found that it's got the best action on a, a chatterbait uh and of course i know you've you've seen this bait right here a ton on uh on the channel and i mean i sell a, a crap ton of them that that mold is very expensive and i have a lot of people ask about it but Man, that sun is causing a glare. Try to get where you can see better. Let me. I know I ain't doing the best job, you know, with the uh, <laughs> holding the camera with one hand, and but uh, this bait right here works really you know i used to use this one on my chatter baits and then uh, i've used it a little bit on jigs uh i've actually used it texas rigging but uh i really like the way it does on a jig head you know it does really good so i like it um this one right here is just like a little minnow style bait this is an angling ai mold um it does 
pretty good it's just a real a real small and you'll see that tail has got a real real small but tight shimmy uh, personally i like how uh this tail and this color ain't a color i usually fish with i just had it for uh you know demonstration purposes but um i actually like that little minnow bait um times where a swim bait i have too much thump that little minnow will definitely be something that uh that i'll be using all right and this right here is the hog salad uh peril grub uh, let's see you can you can rig it up you know texas rig uh people will put them on a jig i've seen them uh turn sideways like this and used on a chatterbait trailer um you know uh people punch with them there's multiple ways you can fish them but man that's sun or no not to come out here in the hottest part of the day of course we've i waited a little later in the afternoon just because of how how bad the that little bait's got a hell of a kick to it um anyway i like it but i waited i had to wait a little bit later because all morning we had damn storm blowing in raining so uh let's see what we got here all right this is the this is the three and a quarter little um h crawl uh mold by hog salad molds usually uh, a lot of people they'll fish it on a jig let me go ahead and get in this angle they'll fish it on a jig uh use it for a trailer uh personally see if i can get a real close man i'm a, i'm terrible at there we go i'm trying to move the camera and the bait at the same time but there we go um this bait is really an awesome bait i personally use it like uh like you just seen you know kind of texas rig but i use it with a um uh, a small spinning setup you know um and that's personally how i fish it is with a small spinning setup all right let's see here you gotta bear with me i got crap hanging everywhere i'm just gonna throw that right there and i'll pick them up later all right next this is a um this is a three and three quarter inch uh this is what i call my punch crawl but it's it's actually a uh a hollow body crawl but i make it into a solid body and a hollow body this is a solid body but you know i make it in a, a couple of different ways you can buy the hollow body and the solid body uh personally i just bought the the uh hollow body and i made pins for it so i can use it as a but try to get where i can this tank needs to be about two foot longer but anyway you get the idea it's got a real good kick to it um i personally fish that just like you see um uh, you know a lot of people buy the solid bodies from me to punch with um personally i use them just like that texas rig so um if i'm making them for myself most of the time i make hollow bodies uh and this one's gonna be a tricky one to show in the tank uh this one is the five and a quarter inch jointed jerk bait um you can fish in a couple of different ways but this tank ain't quite big enough to show you really how how good it does like when you're that joint will actually help it twist but you get the idea the tank needs to be a little bit uh a little bit longer for you to see how that bait works but 
it's a unique bait i really don't sell too many of them um i only have one six cavity mold so i don't advertise it as often but those molds are like over 170 dollars so i just haven't haven't let's see here what else do i want to show i want to wait on i got a couple of these that are uh bottom bouncers i want to wait on them because i don't want to stir up the uh stir up the stuff uh, i got this on a jig you can fish them different ways but personally i use these on a jig um that's my crazy crawl it's it's uh, a bait that's it's pretty close to the um uh what do they call that it's i see do, 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 like a speed crawl it's pretty close to that but anyway i like it on a jig See if we can get that glare is terrible. There we go. Trying to trying to follow it with the camera. But I like this uh because this is one of those baits that really has a wide thump, especially when you get started after that initial first couple of feet pulling it them them claws really have a uh a nice wide thump all right let's see this is my little two and a quarter inch little chunk and that's personally about on my smaller uh jigs that's about the size of uh of a little chunk i'd like to use let's see if i can get a It's got a nice little kick to it. I personally like that little little chunk. All right, now let's see here. Where's all right? We got the little winged lizard. Uh, I know if you've watched the channel, you've seen pretty much all these molds. So I, that's why I ain't gonna go in too much detail on the molds. This bait right here has a amazing action. And this color ain't something I would typically use. Um, that was honestly some uh, color I had left over and I decided to uh, just pour it in some other baits. Let's see, put that there. All right, I'm gonna switch out some of these. All right i got a couple of these baits that like i say they're they're designed to pretty much bounce off the bottom just just give me a second i'm gonna pause you and when we come back i'll have a couple of these other baits re-rigged and we'll show you all right, all right we have a i have a couple of them re-rigged i'll uh have to do that a couple of times because i didn't want to waste you know a bunch of line and tying up hooks just to have them all rigged up at one time all right this is man that tail is this is the seven inch mag speed worm like the ones i was making at the beginning of the video and that bait right there is amazing all right let's see here and this right here is the uh angling ai phantom it's very similar to the one i showed you a few minutes ago the uh the hog salad bait it's just like that one uh very very similar and they have a a very similar action uh this one right here is a little bit tighter of an action the other one has a little bit more kick i'm not even sure if that's showing you real good or not this there we go with it all uh, with the damn shadow all right this is a um a four inch cali grub another angling ai mold i chose to go with the hot tip on this one so you can maybe see it moving 
I've almost sold that mold a couple times, but I chose not to mainly because I mean I do sell sell a few of them uh, certain times of the year, so I mean there wasn't no need just to get rid of it for nothing. All right, instead of pausing it all the damn time, I'm just gonna sit my camera down here. And I'll actually angle it where you can maybe see what's going on and re-rig a couple of these. Do that over there. And while I'm staying, I'll go ahead and do all the worms. This is the, uh, if you buy it online, the mold is actually their seven inch, but the worm measures a little over um nine inches long you know like uh let's see it's bass tackle that's their seven inch model but it's really over nine inches Ooh, we got some clouds coming back in all right just like any other ribbon tail i mean they all pretty much have the same same action all right maybe this like i can say maybe this video ain't gonna be too long like some of these baits i don't even need to show but i mean hell we'll try to show them let's do another ribbon tail this one is seven inches but when you buy the mold the mold is actually the five inch but the bait itself hangs over seven inches and well right around seven inches but it's going to look pretty much exactly the same in the water except a little bit tighter there we go a little bit oh yeah i feel that cloud cover and i can actually see the uh movement of the baits better Uh, let's go ahead and do the small this is the five and three quarter inch um, speed worm personally I like both of them it just depends on you know where I'm fishing at and if the if the bass are wanting a smaller bait or a bigger profile but now I like the that little bit of extra cloud cover it's showing up on camera a little better now so of course i, I could have just been i could have just went ahead and had all of these already rigged up you know what i mean and but i just did not want to have like 20 hooks tied up and waiting you know this is their seven inch ringworm um i like this ringworm the only thing about the ringworm and i'll explain it in a second boy it's got a good good tail kick action but the only thing about these ringworms like this size right here you have to use a uh you need to make these with a uh, a harder blend, you know, like a a uh, like a crawl tube blend or something. And the reason being, I'll show you right here. The reason being that core is kind of small, and the weight of the bait will actually you'll sling it in half sometime if you use like two uh, like regular worm blend will actually pull that uh, make you sling the bait off if you're slinging it a little bit hard now if you sling it soft you're fine but it just it's a little too soft if you use regular worm blend so you need a little bit harder blend all right and this is the smaller version this is like four and three quarter this is the one i like the most personally it's got a little bit tighter action and i mean really if you want to be technical this it's got almost the same action as say the uh the speed worm let's see 
we'll jump over to the ecto crawl now i use the ecto crawl a lot uh personally um it's one of my favorite crawls um now don't get me wrong i stand behind and i love the h crawl but personally i use this ecto crawl more than any other crawl i've got Uh, this ecto crawl is a beast on jigs and stuff um it's got a crazy amount of of kicking action um this is the four inch they make a smaller version that i have been going to going to buy for you know a couple couple years now and i haven't done it um i probably will one day i just i haven't been in no hurry to get it. i mean i've got a ton of of crawls i'm actually gonna have to you know to make room for more stuff i'm gonna end up downsizing and getting rid of a few more molds uh this is the four and a quarter inch h crawl it's very you know i get a lot of questions about the h crawl versus the uh the zoom z crawl they are very comparable uh, they look very similar. They are not the same. The bodies are uh, a little bit The bodies it's hard to explain but for example up here is a lot thicker uh, on the uh, Z crawl this is wider and flatter down here where the claws attach is a lot thicker built uh, They're very similar, but at the same time. They're very different but you know people will argue with you anyway oh well it, it's close i like this bait um my dad uses this more than probably any other bait i could put this on something else but i guess i'll see if it'll fit on this hook i'm trying to hurry up um some people would use this for for um like punching different stuff i mean I personally don't use brush hogs. Uh, I have used them for trailers. Uh, we're just going to drop this in here and try to speed things up. But you see the very back. You know, them little tails got a good little action. But, you know, I've, I've seen people punch with them and, you know, just jig with them. It's, it's a versatile bait. Um, I just don't really use them that much like i say i have used them but i don't really use them that much all right let me see what else um this let me see do i got a smaller uh no i don't have a smaller one let me see this hook is way too big for what i'm about to do so don't be paying that close of attention to it uh, this is my little three inch um, Little finesse stick bait uh, Usually I'll use like a two alt hook or somewhere in there. Let me see. Did I have one laying around? Hmm, I might have let me let me just see. All right, yeah, I have one over here. All right, I'm gonna re-rig that get rid of that because it ain't going to look right like that. So let me re-rig it. And I mostly fish this on like the river down the road from my house. Um, let me rig it up and I'll explain how I work it. It does not come with that little spinner. I make those myself. Um... The reason I use the little spinner, it gives it a little extra uh, weight. You can throw it real good and you can straight retrieve it if you want. And you see the spinner just, you know, they look good straight retrieving. But on the river, I throw it out like that and I pretty much pop it, you know, just like that. And them little shoal bass eat that up. I mean, they can't get enough of it personally that's how i fish it um i build those little spinners for um 
and usually I wouldn't show this but I will today because I'm being generous but anyway I, mo I make those for it and it works great all right now I think we can get to the bottom bouncing ones all right move that to the side let me um and everybody that's watched this channel y'all know I personally don't um stick baits I don't use salt uh for my personal ones all the customers you know 90 probably 95 percent of them they want salt added and i add salt but personally i don't use salt uh, this one is not got salt in it you know but i don't fish them like this very often i just rigged this up just to show uh video purposes you know how it would be you you see it it's kicking it's trying to get where you can see it's just a uh, kicking on its way down and on its way up if i was gonna fish it that that's how i would fish it you know if i was gonna be doing finesse style uh personally i don't fish it like that i texas rig it and that's how i fish it um of course we got this trick worm um i very seldom i'm talking about uh very seldom ever try to get where you let me get on this side that side is beaming but anyway i very seldom ever drop shot i mean have i yes once in a while i'll drop shot uh let me show you the difference is i always run mine through unless i'm using a real small bait but i always run mine like that you know i use a small uh worm hook and i rig it that way and you know you ain't gotta agree with me and if you don't like any way i'm rigging it that is perfectly fine there's there's many ways you can rig it i'm just showing you how i personally rig it uh, the same with this y'all know i don't especially if you pay attention to the channel but this is the little punch bug uh that bait uh this is already a piece of weight i had laying around i didn't want to dig through my box and get a smaller one that's a big chunk of weight uh anyway uh personally i don't i don't care for punching mats um i've done it a couple times i personally it ain't something i do so you can do whatever you want uh this is a bait that i really would i'm i'm personally not gonna fish it uh that much just because you know it's one of them baits that other than punching mats you know you can see right here it's well i'm trying to get you where you can see other than it's just made to punch mats and stand up a little bit but and i'll try to show it to you a little bit closer i mean it don't matter how you move it the claws are not designed to do anything other than lay down and maybe flare out a little bit when you're uh when you're bringing it in uh personally that ain't if i'm going if i'm going to punch any i would actually use what i call my punch crawl uh, i would either use that or the h crawl to punch with like i say i just rigged this up just to show you how it looks all right uh then we're doing there's one more bait down there but real quick before the tank gets too damn messy this is this is another one i probably won't keep um just because i've done made a ton for myself i got more than i'll ever use so i probably won't keep that mold but anyway it's trying to get where you can see see it standing straight up this is that uh this is that eight inch eel and i mean i really like how it does it it stands up perfect every time because i got it on a stand up I got it on a stand up head you know and like i say i personally made a bunch of these um i made a bunch of them for myself um it ain't other than using on a stand up jig you know i might use some on a carolina rig uh that's about the only thing i would personally do with it all right let's see here i have one other bait and that's the three and a half inch jointed uh and i'll show you real quick 
the only way i'm going to use this i've seen other people talk about using it for like a trailer um you know you can probably use it multiple ways the only way i would use this and let me see if i can get it rigged real quick just bear with me and this hook is not ideal for it so so don't judge there but like i say that hook is not the one i would use for that application but anyway if i was going to let's see the more i stir at the bottom the worse it's getting but if i was going to use it it would be on a drop shot you know like that bouncing around and that's if i was going to use that bait um you know that's just a real small that's just a real small jerk bait and that's pretty much uh all the baits i sell and carry uh right now um i do have a couple of open pour uh baits that i didn't bring out here to do uh, i got the pud and i mean everybody's seen the action of the pud it's just a real slow hard thump so i didn't see no need to bring it out here matter of fact most of these baits you probably already seen but i've had like i say i've done this video because i had so many people ask what they look like you know as far as how you would fish them and what's the action on them so hopefully you was able to see enough um let me step back inside but hopefully you was able to see enough of uh of the action on them i know the the sun had um had came out and was real bright so like i gonna say maybe maybe that showed you enough um anyway um yesterday i i had i don't know if you remember but i had the bag of like white and chartreuse mix and then i had a bag of like uh the sprue the cut up sprues from the uh ballistic bruiser we did on video way a while back and i actually just i melted them down threw them in the uh threw them in the uh shooting star and and done them um i done you know some just straight like neon then some of them just straight the dark color because it was actually a little more blue and i just added some black to it to darken it up and then of course here's the you know so you can see and it's kind of like a milky chartreuse because it had a lot of white mixed into it um and of course i made me up some old mixed up you know trailers and stuff but anyway just trying to use up some of this old stuff i got um anyway we're gonna wrap this video up hopefully hopefully this video didn't bore you um uh, most of you probably already know what the action is on most of these baits um this video pretty much is for those of you that have been sending me messages and asking you know hey can you show us what the you know what the action of this bait is can you show because i've had people ask me the action of the jointed jerk bait you know and it's just one of them it's got a, a jerk bait action you just jerk and it darts one way and darts the other way um same with h crawls the lizards you know like i say i've had them i've had a lot of questions about them so this video is pretty much for uh those of you that were trying to ask how i would rig them and you know what the action is on but anyway i appreciate everybody that has subscribed everybody that watches uh i appreciate all the thumbs up the comments and i am gonna wrap this up and we will catch you next time oh yeah hit the notification bell share it with your friends you can always hit me up on facebook under my personal account eric gilly uh you can hit me up send me a message on tall tales custom tackles um on instagram under tall tales custom tackles and i mean i gotta say we'll appreciate it we'll catch you next time